What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Overdose Last. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. If you're a returning subscriber, you already know to make love to that like button so we can sail through the algorithm. Today I got a nice video for y'all, man. Epic little story time. You feel me? It might get a little ignorant because I just couldn't believe the audacity. So anyway... Um, today, my phone been ringing all day. I'm the type of person, my phone be on vibrate. You feel me? I'm, I return calls and stuff like that, but my phone be on vibrate. So my drone was blowing up, and when I finally had time to, like, check it, I didn't recognize the number. And, you know, black folks, bro, we don't, we don't answer numbers we don't know. It might be a bill collector that you might have gave a slip. And, you know, they try to get uh, Mission Impossible on you, change their number up or whatever. So, we we don't answer numbers we don't know, bro. So, I'm on the phone. I ended up getting on the phone with my wife, right? This was around, like, 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock in the morning. So, right when we about to get off the phone, the phone rings again. I'm like, yo, hold on, yo. So, I click over on the other side, right? And it's a, a machine message. The message was like, um, hello, this is in regards to your social security number. It has been suspended. I got scared. Now, the reason, the reason, like, I was thinking of two things. I was thinking of two things. When me and my wife was on the phone, um, I had just given her my social because she was changing over the um, the electricity in the other place into my name. You feel me? So some of y'all, y'all already know we moving into the new crib or whatever. So she needed my social to like switch everything into my name or whatever. So I'm like, I, right, you know, I don't want stuff to be suspended and then like. It creates some more headaches. That that's, that was my first thing. You feel me? So I pressed the number. It said press one to speak to a representative or whatever. So I press one. Boom. I press one. Some lady answered the phone. Short. I mean, she ain't sound like she was of this country. You know what I'm saying? She she sound like 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 she worked at Seven Eleven. I'm I, I'm going there with it. I told y'all, I'm going there with it, bro. So anyway, she was like, hello. I was like, hey, how you doing? Um, y'all called me. I said my, my, my social security number is suspended. She's like, yes. Um, can I have your full name? So I gave her my name. She's like, can I have the last three of her social? I paused. I was like, you want the last three? I was like, hold on. And word to my mother. So I was like, oh, hold on, bitch. You know who I am? She's like, sir? And then she hung up. Bro. Like, bitch, do you know who I am? Like, I'm Mr. Pieces. Did y'all really try to scam me? Did you try to scam me? And like, bro, the audacity, the, the audacity to call me, bitch, I'm Mr. Pieces. Fuck, I was swiping when you... When, when 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 your grandmother was was was, was making Seven Eleven sandwiches, I was out here swiping. Like, stop playing with me. Stop playing. You thought I was, you thought I was gonna give you my social? The last three of my social? Like, you couldn't even came correct. You couldn't have a, a different security question. If she yo it yo it was so it was so like until that part, everything about it was so legit. Like they literally had like the the government like answering machine bro like you know when the government call you and they have that that automated machine it yo it was so legit everything about it was legit bro you feel me the only thing that threw it off was was shorty accent one shorty accent threw it off because you already know when when the, the united states government call you for anything bro it always and it's a woman it always be some country ass white lady 
or like a mean ass black lady or some snobby ass white man, bro. It'll never be nobody sound like they're from Bangladesh, bro. You feel me? It'll never be nobody sound like they're from Bangladesh, bro. It don't. Come on, son. I can't, yo, I can't believe they tried me like that, bro. But here's the here's the kicker though. Here's the kicker. So Shorty hung up, right? Right? Another number called me. I pick up. This time it's a dude. He sound like he he one of those too. I had yo, I had to really I little Ackman, stop playing with my phone for something happened to you. Stop playing with my phone for something happened to you, bro. Like yo, I was really getting mad, bro. I don't know. I don't know where they got my number from. Actually, I'm kind of suspicious because y'all know I've been looking for a new car and stuff. So I've been like, I'll find deals online for these dealerships or whatever. And then I'll leave my contact information. That's the only how I could see them folks getting my phone number, bro. That's the only how these folks could get my phone number. Besides that, I'm not, you know what I'm saying, I ain't out there with it like that. I don't really throw my phone number out there like that. But the audacity, bro, like, are you crazy? I'm Mr. Swipes. Like, don't do that. I mean, I'm, I used to be Mr. Swipes. Used to be Mr. Swipes, bro. Now, I don't think I'm glorifying that joint now. I'm out here calling myself Mr. Swipes. Listen, everything cool. Everything fine and dandy till the men in black pull up to your crib. You feel me? Everything fine and dandy till the men in black pull up to your crib, bro. Then you realize you facing 5 to 20. First offender, it don't even matter. That white collar crime ain't cool, bro. All I'm going to say is just work hard for your money, man. Work hard for your money. Don't, don't try to steal it from other people. Just be, I'm going to say this, right? Just be careful. If you, if you, if you get in a situation like that, be careful. Because the way they move in with these scams, like you're literally going to give them your information. Like you, you, it might be something so subtle, bro. I'm going to give y'all a perfect example, right? Perfect example. My neighbor, these folks stole $30,000 from my neighbor. They stole, I think they stole 20 from her bank account. And they stole 10, $10,000 worth of Bitcoin from her cash app. Now, I want you to, I want you to really understand something, right? This is how bad it was. And I would be so upset if, like, right now, I would be so upset if I was her. They did that before Bitcoin started shooting up. So just think about it. She had $10,000 worth of Bitcoin when Bitcoin was worth $14,000. They stole that from her. When Bitcoin was worth $14,000. Bitcoin is worth over 50 k right now. I think Bitcoin is at 60k right now, bro. You know how much money she would have had if they didn't steal that? But wait, here's how they stole the bread though. Y'all ready for how they stole their bread? <laughs> the way they stole the bread is so foul. And I'm I'm when she told me, I'm like, yo, this that's that sound like an inside job, bro. That sound like like somebody, you know, somebody gave them your information. So <clears throat> They used her T-Mobile account, right? Somebody called T-Mobile and pretty much acted like they were her. Got her account information to get access to her phone. Got access to her phone. Transferred her money, right? Out her bank account. And then transferred her bitcoin to like another like another bitcoin account now she was able to get the twenty thousand dollars back from her bank but bitcoin you know bitcoin is kind of sketchy so that money is gone 
Like, there's no way she can get that back. I don't like that, bro. I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't respect that. When I was younger, I thought, you know what I'm saying? Like, I thought that shit was cool. But taking from people who, who work hard for their bread, bro, that shit, that's not cool, bro. That's not cool. Like, you don't know who life you messing up doing that. You don't know who life you messing up when you do that, bro. You don't know who life savings you taking from. You don't, like, that's that's just not, it's not cool, bro. I can't respect it. I can't respect it, bro, at all. But they, they almost had me. They would have had me, bro. I ain't, I'm not going to lie. If I wasn't, like, up on game, they would have had me, son. Because it, it seems so legit. And then, like, it happened, like, right at the perfect time. Because we was just talking about the the social the social security so she could change the light in my, in my name, bro. Like, son. Just be careful out here, man. These folks ain't playing fair. They ain't playing fair at all, man. Can I have the last three of your soul lights? I was expecting like like some type of security question where Shorty would be like, "Oh, is this your last three? Which one of these is your last three known address? You know what I'm saying? Give me my, give me three a- address that addresses that I've stayed at, and and let me verify. You know what I'm, that that if she if she had came correct like that, then it'd have been like, "Ooh, okay." You would have made it a little bit harder. But you just came bold faced like, yeah, let me get the last three of your social. Like, come on. Come on. Come on, Ahmed. Like, come on. Get out of here. Come on, son. Anyway, man, that's the video, gang. I'm finna go get my son.